good my gorgeous vegetarian friends in today's video once again we're doing a keto friendly paneer recipe remember vegetarian keto is all about that paneer life but one very crucial element of any kind of ketogenic diet are the greens and methi or fenugreek leaves are one of the most underrated foods in india and that's why in today's recipe we're combining these gorgeous greens with high fat from the malai paneer and from ghee and from cream because we're on keto i bring you my keto friendly methi malai paneer recipe begins with talking about fenugreek leaves you know we keep hearing about kale and all these western superfoods there's no superfood quite like the indian methi super high in a ton of vitamins and minerals and it should be a part of your diet if you're following keto super healthy for you and the other thing methi does is that it's super bitter so it adds a very unique flavor to indian food and you know what methi goes well with paneer but first let's talk about the dry ingredients starting with heeng for much needed acidity cumin or jeera because this is a punjabi recipe and we love our cumin black peppercorns optional but i feel in this particular recipe goes great next chili completely according to your own taste if you want you can go with lesser and even deseeded if you want and finally coriander or dhania for the much needed freshness into the wet ingredients starting with ginger garlic paste and milk both essential to this particular recipe next coming a cream now remember both cream and milk aren't ideal for keto but again a bit of them isn't going to put you out of keto also keep in mind cream is super high on fat so it won't put you out of keto but it is high calorie and if you want to lose weight on keto you got to keep a track of your calories moving on to the king of this veg keto dish we're talking about malai paneer again for this particular dish grate it or crumble it whatever you feel like the cooking process starts with ghee because punjabi style baby next we go in with heeng to let out some acidity into the ghee and to just begin the whole cooking process adds an acidic base to this dish next we can go in with those whole spices the cumin and the peppercorns and just let it sit in the ghee release all its natural flavors so about a minute in the oil and once you can smell the cumin and the peppercorns it's a great point to go in with chili once again completely according to your own taste and do not forget the coriander the chili and the coriander are adding a fresh base to this whole curry flavoring that ghee like nothing else baby next step you can go in with that ginger garlic paste base of all punjabi cooking and adds that little bit of indianness and finally once it's golden brown or even slightly more than golden brown you can go in with the methi or the fenugreek leaves and give it about say 2 minutes stir fry it of course until it starts wilting like this now remember fenugreek leaves are super bitter and if you're cooking them indian style you need to balance it out with sweetness now of course we can't use sugar and that's why our next best option is stevia a natural herbal sweetener which i use in many beer biceps recipes to balance things out and of course it is keto friendly and super healthy for you and in any indian dish that involves methi you cannot leave out that sweet element because otherwise it's just going to taste horrible so after all the flavors are mixed well you can go in with a paneer in this case i'm going in with about 400 grams of paneer but that's according to me you go according to your own taste For one bunch of methi leaves, 400 grams is a good amount. Some people might consider this a lot of protein, but I like all my food high protein, baby. And the final step, you can go in with your last wet ingredient, one cup of milk. The milk's job here is to just combine the bitterness of the methi with the natural milkiness of the paneer, and kind of give a creamy texture to this sabji. So just let the mixture simmer away in the milk for two minutes. and you're almost ready and finally if you can afford the calories 
you can go in with just a little bit of fresh cream after you're done switching the gas off. Remember, you can't cook cream much and this just adds that finishing touch to the dish, completely optional if you can't afford the calories. So just mix it through and before you know it, your methi malai paneer is ready. You can serve it up, well, I would have said with rotis, but if you're on keto, you can't do that. Remember, if you avoid the cream, this is still a delicious dish. And if you're not on keto, eat this with some rotis, Punjabi style. But if you're on keto, this is one of your best paneer options. Malai paneer combined with actual malai is just too big on that. Oh yeah!